We are in the key of E Dorian, which is an exceedingly fun key. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's fiddle video. Today we're going to be learning a tune that is a classic. It's Swallowtail Jig. I've been playing this tune since time immemorial and I think you're gonna like it. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks, you can find a link for that in the description. All right, let's do this. First of all, let's figure out what key we're in so we know where these fingers are gonna go. We are in the key of E Dorian which is an exceedingly fun key. So here's an E Dorian scale. It starts with your first finger on the D, then two, three, A, one, two, three, and then E. All right, we've got our key signature. Let's figure out our time signature. Swallowtail jig is a jig, and that means we're going to be in six, eight time. So we're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six eighth notes per measure. All right, we've got our key signature, we've got our time signature, let's learn the tune. I will be teaching this tune by call and response so that you can try learning it by ear. So I will play a short section of the tune, you can pause the video and try playing it back, then I'll play it again, and you can pause and try playing it, and then I'll play it again, and you can pause and try playing it one more time. If you don't get it after three tries, totally fine. You can just scroll back and Try it again. As with many fiddle tunes, this tune has an A part, which is the first half of the tune, and a B part, which is the second half of the tune. So let's start with the A part. Here is the first phrase of the A part, starting with your third finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. Those finger numbers are three, one, 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 three, one, 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 A, three. Now we are on the second phrase of the tune, starts with that second finger on the D string, and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. That's two, D, D, A, D, D, three, two, three, A, three, two. And now the third section of the A part is gonna start with your third finger on the D string again. And it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. That's three, one, 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 three, one, one, one. And the last phrase is gonna start with your second finger 
finger on the A string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that little pickup note, your second finger, and then three, two, three, A, three, two, three, one, one, one. And that is the entire A part. Let's see if we can put all those phrases together, starting with your third finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. and try the B part. The B part starts with your first finger on the A string and this is how the first phrase goes. One, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, The next phrase starts with that first finger again and it'll sound very similar. One, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, E, one, E, three, one, three. is the same as the first phrase of the B part, so that's rather convenient. Starting with that first finger on the A string, one, two, three, four. Those finger numbers again are one, two, three, E, one, E, one, E, three, one. The last phrase of the tune starts with your third finger on the A string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's the same as the end of the A part, but without that second finger pickup note. So starting with that third finger, it goes three, two, three, A. entire B part. So let's see if we can pull that all together. Starting with your first finger on the A string. One, two, three, four. the whole entire tune. Let's see if we can go ahead and play the whole thing. One, two, one, two, three, four.
If you'd like to try playing that all the way up to speed, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. So now that we know the basic tune, I have just a couple little things I wanna throw in there for fun for you to try out. The first thing comes close to the beginning of the tune, so it's gonna sound like this. It's a very quick little grace note, so after you play, when you get to that first finger on the A string, you're gonna play that one, but then very quickly play a two right after it. And then go back to the one. So you get. In the next part of the tune, we're gonna do a small variation to the melody. So instead of going. This is what it's gonna sound like. So all we're doing is after, we're going to our third finger, and you could put a little second finger grace note in there before it. And we're gonna go. So. normal tune to the end of the A part. And you can throw in some grace notes if you feel like it. In the B part, we're gonna throw in some slides and this is what that's gonna sound like. So what we're doing is on the part of the tune where it would go, we're sliding into that first finger. So if we put it together once more, it'll sound like this. And you can do that in the next phrase as well. In the third phrase of the B part is where another melodic variation is gonna come into it and it's gonna sound like this. So we're going, that's normal. Then we get to our E string and we're gonna go E, low two, one, and then do that again. E, low two, one, and then normal melody. So. And then the end of the tune. Let's try playing the whole tune with the variations. Here we go. One, two, one, two, And if you'd like to try playing the variation up to speed, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. All right, fiddlers, that wraps up today's fiddle video. I hope you had fun. Again, if you'd like cheat music and practice tracks for the tune, as well as that variation we learned, you can find a link for that in the description. Have a wonderful day, happy fiddling, and I will see you soon.